Okay. Mm, very conscious, is it? <clears throat> okay, here we are. So what do we want to explore? Something that you like to show to Noah also. And I, I would like to learn what you are doing. Uh, if you can briefly share and, and I'm happy to, to show the pieces that we are doing. So let me go ahead and share my screen. But uh, the purpose of this call is so that I can be helpful. So I will not spend much time on well, no, I think what I, we do. No, I, I think it's, I think we just got to see where connection point is and how we can help each other. Um, mm -hmm. So this is the website on planet conscious communities. Uh, can you see the website? Yeah. On the, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's mobile app. Um, Android and iOS. Um, the concept is that we have uh, planets as, as communities. We call them planets. So each planet has each community has their their space for interaction. It can be like three thousand, five thousand people, or maybe a couple of hundred of people. They have their space where they have their own chat. They have their own <clears throat> uh, stories. Um, let me see if I can show. Yeah. They have their own dashboard of activities and all the members, all the experiences, events that's happening in that community and all the places that are related to it. You can navigate it through the map. You can navigate it through, <clears throat> uh, through nearby, like cards, like Tinder-like cards, you just swipe left, let's say it's here, there are some people in your community, you swiping, check their topics, you like them, click directly, start chatting to them. And also we have integrated human design and jinky profiles. So if, if you're looking at a profile, you, you open it and you check, okay, let's see what's their archetypes, if they share the birth data, of course, we, we generate uh, the archetypes, uh, the charts and stuff. And in the future, we can also offer recommendations based on the charts, but it's, it's a lot of <clears throat> work to build this engine and we don't have it yet. Sure. We are, um, the Android is in the market. iOS is 50% ready. The website is ready. We have also admin panel website and we are at the stage of we are past the pre-seed stage, perhaps so we, we have a MVP model. And so we, we're, we're the M, we are a seed funding stage. So we are looking some conscious investment to, to keep us going. <clears throat> Is there any part you, you would like me to go deeper? Well, just looking at, um, I guess, more the functions of the um, communication is it just chat can, can you put team like groups and teams together we have just chats for like let me let's see, let's see so we have chats in uh, rooms uh, like clubhouse type of okay. select type of chat rooms um where is the chat ah, here's the chat <clears throat> So yeah, these are the chats. You can start the room, you can join a room and each community has kind of their, <clears throat> their room. It's connected to either Zoom or uh, Google Meetup. We don't do the hosting, video hosting ourselves, but we just uh, redirect and use the Zoom APIs. The chat is our chat. It's Firebase, uh, Google Firebase chat, uh, <clears throat> real time, works pretty fine. We support pictures and um, typing uh, notification, but we don't do very complex like GIF animations or sound recording. Um, I think I, we don't expect people going to use this platform for constant chat like WhatsApp. This is more like people just get introducing each other couple of sentences and then if they become friends, they can move on. For example, in Tinder, if you meet someone, you chat a couple of sentences, but then if the relationship goes, they, they move on to, to either Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or, or Telegram. <clears throat> um, not that we don't want to do it, but just we don't prioritize it yet. We can eventually become 
uh, Telegram. Telegram has open APIs. We can replicate all Telegram experience in our application if we have the resources. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so if, if you want to implement a chat yourself for your project, um, there are different paths to go. Depends if you want to have the user um, creation process for you or you, or, or, um, you trust it to, for example, Telegram and, and use Telegram APIs. Uh, there are also other chat applications that you can just use out of the box. <clears throat> you, you lose some of the benefits of having your own data, your own database of people, but implementation is several times easier. And perhaps the quality is higher because these are well-tested working platforms. And if you implement, there is always something here and there that takes a lot of time for testing and refining. Okay. Yeah. So, so how many, you've got three, two different test groups? We, we have pilot communities uh, right now, um, two, two that are like in active stage. I have like maybe thousand just in my database. When, when the platform is ready, we're just gonna start onboarding them. So it's not ready for public use at all? It's not at all ready because iOS is not ready. <clears throat> uh, only Android platform is ready and, and backend also needs some, some strengthening. But uh, I, have, uh, I have now kind of slowed down because um, keeping three developers working full time, it's it's an expensive uh, burn rate. <clears throat> so right now um, I have slowed down just the minimum until I get a funding so we can continue. What, what's the, is the unique part of it just the type of people coming together? Um, have you heard of Unite Platform? Unite Platform? Yeah. Um, just I have heard a lot of Unite project, but perhaps not that one. Can I Google it quickly? <clears throat> Unite uh, us or? Let, let me see. Let me just see if I can. Did you send on my chat or? I'm just, let me just, uh, let me get the actual URL. <laughs> Can send on Zoom. Uh, yeah, it's out of Vancouver. Um, they're more of a social media with a lot of emphasis on love, happiness, you know, kind of more positivity kind of thing. Yeah, there, there are so many of us, so many of- I know, so, so, what's, so what, what's unique about yours that, <clears throat> that has the, the edge kind of thing? Um, there is uh, like nothing unique what Facebook is doing or nothing unique what LinkedIn is doing. It's a social platform, but how you execute it, what type of people you bring it, and the little differences in, in UI that's adapted specifically for that need, either it's business or um, just social informal exchange, or it's a game, gaming community. So we are playing specifically with conscious communities, and we have every little thing that with this focus, we we are highlighting in our platform. So we serve this type of communities the best. And also the, the network of this type of people, places, experiences is our, is our, is our main added value. So <clears throat> if you join Facebook, you have all and everything. If you join here, you have such a, um, 
you have very aligned type of people with uh, with a similar similar shared perspectives and <clears throat> yeah so the focus is our, our uniqueness perhaps okay um do you want to share this give me make me host again and i'll show you a bit of what we got sure and um, we, we have some some unique ui elements we have some unique um, uh, parts that's uh, related to to how you present the communities and the places and, and facilitators, how you categorize all these healing modalities. So none of this you can find in Facebook. But if, if you really look at, we are not inventing a bicycle here. Social platforms exist and the difference is just how you use them. <clears throat> right. What do you think of divination? Um, is it the, the cards you have you're referring to? Um, in general, yes, but I just meant divination in general. Um, I need more context to, to answer. Um, have, have you ever used divination in your life? I'm not even sure what that means. Like cards. Have you ever used any type of cards, tarot deck or, uh, Oh, I, so now I, I know what you mean. <clears throat> I work with tarot cards. I, I know how they work. Uh, this is archetypical work and yeah I, I i know this is um important work um you know a lot of yeah. a lot of conscious people especially women they, they love the cards right they love divination they love um For, yeah especially women you have a point there because it's more intuitive <clears throat> like human design for example is a little more logical and Astrology is a little more logical and tarots. While we are all playing it with the same universal cosmic archetypes, just um, with the tarots, the approach is perhaps more intuitive and yeah, it's it's more easy to play perhaps. Okay, can you see the screen? I do. Yeah. You see the dragon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is called choose a remedy. And mm -hmm. we go write a question. Let's say, uh, how could we best collaborate our different products? Okay. Perfect. So we are putting a carrot deck for our specific call now. Yeah. So then you press the continue. Testing, repetition. So there's there's three main uh, cards: mm -hmm. the, val the values deck, the convo types, and the lenses. And so at the value beauty to value the quality present in a quality in a thing or a person that gives intense pleasure or deep satisfaction. Convo type testing to have a conversation with a test within it to see how well someone does. Repetition: the act of repeating repeated action, performance, production, or presentation. I, I find that this, at some point, we're gonna have a button below that goes start chat room, that then goes into the other program that I was talking about in terms of a, a, a chat room that is very unique in terms of you program it with a goal, you program it with a timer, you program it with a combo type and a value, which would be like you would take this and it gets put at the top. So it has like, this is like a spell. Like, it's like you're in a conversation and there's 72 of these conversation types and most of them are related to business. And then you program it with intention, with the value. And then you look through the lens to see the remedy, to see the answer. So this can either be used to actually tell you the answer or, to, or how we need to talk about to find the answer. Okay, let's test it right on the fly. We have a call, both of us are here with a project and we are looking how to collaborate and help each other. And you picked now three cards. So these are three out of how many well, the, cards? The, the values, there's about a hundred for the first one for values. There's about mm -hmm. 72 for the combo types. And there's actually uh, four levels of lenses. Do you know Ken Wilber's work at all? 
I do integral theory. Right? Okay, so I've got basically this card set, which is in physical form, creates a multi-dimensional thinking system called the inflow matrix, which has mm -hmm. four primary interfaces, the inner U, outer U, inner group, and outer group. So it's mm -hmm. matching Ken Wilber's four quadrants. Yeah. And I've got a, a universal, um, a universal kind of business system that's on mm -hmm. circles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's circles and lenses. And, and what I've got is a, it can uh, design any job, any organization and any community using the cards. And then I've got maps and software that all integrate together. So I'm integrating online and offline products together. Cool, cool. I like it. So um, the drawing of the cards happens randomly. It's random number generation. And yeah. you believe there is some magic involved here that chooses the right card. Oh, it over and over again, like the divination just, just it just works like i mean usually whenever i'm working with people i use divination with them because it just works and i mean just like this testing i mean both of us need to test right both of us need to test yeah yeah and having beauty i mean i really like your interfaces i mean you've got you know a very uh elegant interface what i see compared to a lot that i've seen um and rep repetition Obviously, you know, we got to do it over and over again just to see what works and what doesn't work. And I really believe that within your idea, having a, a divination oracle, because what we're looking to do is, is to sort of custom design it to different pieces and products and people and projects where the people in your program would, would you know, do the same thing. You know, we, we adapt it to, to be in, inside, your pro, inside your idea. And then that's part of the uniqueness of what you have. And because, you know, consciousness, this, everything that I've been working with is intention and attention, which is basically at the background of consciousness, right? If you're talking about conscious intention, that is, you know, the, the, the essence of, to me, what you're doing. So I, I think that there's a pretty close fit there. Yeah, I, I don't doubt for a second there is magic happening if, with this random drawn cards but it also depends who is drawing and with what intention and what 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 context right <clears throat> but yeah if it, it reused in the right context it's 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 it's, uh, it's working kind of and i i want to ask what is who, who chose that these are the exact hundred ones like what's the what, what are the archetypes used here <clears throat> what is it like gene key or is no it, i mean uh, taro is it uh, no it's it's unique can it's like i spent last 25 years working on this and so oh. uh, i have a friend who's a, a gene key mm -hmm. human design expert and he sees this at that level of i've like i've got something called the new paradigm toolkit which is mm -hmm. maps card sets game boards processes and software and so the main thing is to help people move from the old paradigm to the new paradigm. Let me just mm -hmm. bring up another map here. So you you think this is a, something that's very similar to changes or human design, but it's not at all uh, sharing some of the archetypes and concepts. No, I mean, it's to me, what I've got is the team side of it. Like, how do you bring the different gifts together right how do you bring these people together well i've got team like here we have the paradigm old paradigm new paradigm mm -hmm. and we're moving from the old like to me gene keys and human design are new paradigm systems yeah and what, you're, what you're building is a new paradigm system and what you're building is conscious intention for people to come there what i have is a universal business system to bring these people together wonderful um I have been asking for maybe three or five years all around who can bring gene keys and human design to work with teams in businesses. Oh. And I yet didn't see anyone doing this work on a level that's satisfying. There are people who do. I have one person in my team who is doing it. She pays $1,000 a year for, for a software 
that's building pentas and 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 was. Do you know pentas and was in human design? No. <clears throat> um, if you if you Google pen, human design penta and wa, these are um, the tribal and and penta and what was the second the, one? Wa W and A. Okay. Two letters W A. So the, the penta is the combined aura of five people together okay so a family is penta a team is penta and the wa is uh, bigger it's it can be 15 people so uh and and, and their their charts kind of overlap and there is a circuit there that that um, each 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 person holding one of the positions plays a specific role, and and the software kind of tells you what's the combined energy of the of the group or of the collective, what they are missing, what are their challenge points, etc. But it's, it stops there. You can't you can't do much with that. It it helps. It's wonderful, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't. It's not enough. <clears throat> Let's put it that way. <laughs> if, if you look at right behind me, this is the synergy wheel. I see, I see. If you have a research infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, synergy, services, marketing, stewardship, and communication. Mm -hmm. so these are basics, right? For every functional business team in a sense. So I see. one way of doing it, and I don't know if Gino told you about Luciel Foundation, the training program. I heard, but I'm not sure. I don't know much about it. Yeah. Okay. So I've been on the design team mm -hmm. with, with uh, Hume Design and uh, Gene Key Master Darmendra. I don't know if you've ever come across him. He was uh, Osho's bodyguard for seven years. Incredibly oh. brilliant guy. Anyway, um, he knows. So you know him or you've heard of him? Yeah. I was Osho Sanyas for 10 years. So you know Darmendra? Darmendra? Darmendra. Darmendra. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, oh, okay. I, 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 know, I, I know Osho World by heart. I have spent 10 years there. Oh, awesome. Well, yeah, yeah. I love Osho. I mean, I, I studied him since I've been young, but just through books. Um, but I would say he's he's my one of my favorite spiritual masters for sure. Me too. But, so um, I worked with a team from Le Ciel to, for the last six months, designing a one-year program that is implementing right now. It divided between... The first three months was personal development. The second three months is group coherence. And the next three months is collective intelligence. And they're utilizing some of my stuff and some stuff from the Gene Keys and, and uh, another designers there, another architect called Juan Carlos uh, Catlin. I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's doing some really good stuff. And so we've incorporated the Gene Keys shadow program in the first three months of looking at, if you're gonna create teams, you gotta go through your, your shadow work. And so this is, this whole program has 144 people in 12 teams. And so we are incorporating the Gene Keys, we're incorporating some of my work and we're creating this one year training program together. And Luciel has a, a beautiful spiritual guided intention. They went around the planet to find 12 spiritual elders and now they're creating this, this program. It's, you know, they have a very high intent, very pure heart. And that's one of the reasons I've been participating with them but they're also a great test group. And so I was just about like, we're, the problem is that we're just like a day or two away from having the back end finish for this chat room. And uh, Noah, who's the programmer, is just like, he's in the LCL program. He just started school. He, he launched, a, what's funny about what you have, he has a game that he built himself called the Game of Planets that, I, I thought, you know, each one of these planets is a, is a shared knowledge community. I have a different idea for a new paradigm structure called the shared knowledge community. But what you're saying for your communities are planets. And he's got a game, that game of planets that I've been thinking, you know, that we need to incorporate the game aspect. And this should be a way that we actually take what you've got and, and create real planets with real communities. And that's what you've got. <laughs> Wonderful. Anyway, I mean, <clears throat> that, it just seems a, a, a connection there, you know. That, 
yeah uh, th this this is such a funny funny world i have been doing this project since 2008 we were building a city for conscious people and the idea was we bring 12 enlightened people from different dimensions to host to to be to be the pillars of our city never worked it was too too idealistic and 2008 people were not were not there we were not there so but yeah i, I have the idea and right now i am doing another project that I, I just skipped it because our time is limited but happy to share it later we we call it crystal organizations and we work with uh bring teams together and work with 144 people and we have uh seven teams that that, that connect and then <clears throat> the second level where it becomes 144 so yeah it's it's uh, i think it's like some big um, symphonic uh, music is playing in 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 this new parallel communities and we don't even know we are playing same scripts but different instruments <laughs> yeah no i i've often thought that you know the, the pieces are there we need to bring them together and i'm going where are the other people it seems so obvious you know use number to organize them. yeah and you're right people yeah. weren't kind of ready a while back but they they seem to be now because the whole yeah. world yeah. stopped right yeah yeah no way no way back so <laughs> So, so, I mean, to me, just on a quick, on a quick analysis, I, I think that both of what we have would really be good in what you have. I think there's, a, I think there's a good connection. Yeah. Just on that. Um, I think there's, I don't know if you want another test group in terms of getting what you have to LCL because they, they have their own platform which they're doing the program on but no, but nobody's using the discussion boards nobody's using the communication inside so there's no communication between the people other than i like i want to bring in these chat rooms um but there isn't like a mobile that would connect them mm -hmm. and um it just I, I, to... I see go ahead we, we have we are kind of streaming to currents now <clears throat> navigating two currents. One is we are kind of uh, seeing where the projects are and how they sync. And the second is we are trying to find out how technology, technologically, we can specifically help with your with your current project, right? And or maybe some of the my modules that it can be applied for you. I'm happy to explore both just <clears throat> to not to confuse one with the other. Um, gotcha. To, 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 I see a lot of alignment on, on, on the project level. I, I like the pieces you have. I want to study them more. And you perhaps would like to know more what we do with the crystal organizations because we, we, we are also playing with this uh, bringing groups into, into teams and building, uh, bringing like conscious entrepreneurs in this kind of <clears throat> accelerator type of container, still on the experimental level. We don't have your pilot community. It's more like concepts are just being downloaded and just like putting them on, on the shape on a formal website and document. But yeah, I, I also looking for for a small pilot community. We can we can test this and and kind of. And I'm also aware with with the own planet that I have shown. I run the show. I know what I'm doing and I know what's missing. And I'm just missing like some 50k to finish everything. With the crystal organizations, I'm very aware that I'm not doing this alone. I only have one part of it. I'm just waiting for the other pieces to show up, other people to show up, so we plug and play. So here is the door is open 360 degrees to, to come and plug and play. <clears throat> Let's park perhaps this conversation for, for another time. So we explore each other's projects and see where it's a synergy. And on the immediate level, how I can help you with the platforms. You want chat rooms. Are you sure, that, for example, you want to implement chat rooms yourself rather than offer uh, rooms in existing platforms like uh, Telegram or Discord or Slack? <clears throat> uh, what's the point of having our own software, which is always going to be one, two, three steps behind 
these multi-million user platforms? Well, I mean, if I look at what the what the other platforms have, they're, they're just missing everything that I want in them. And it's kind of like if, if we have to rely on them, like I don't know if you can take their stuff and then add stuff on and then it's fine. But I, I think I would like a, a lot more control over what it is because that's the thing. I mean, it's at some point I want to plug and play all these pieces we have together, but they're they're a lot more advanced in my opinion than what currently is there. And so, I mean, they may have billions and they may be doing what they're doing. To me, it's not even close to what at least I've got. And so. What are, what are the pieces that you would like to have in your chat that they don't have? Well, the idea of uh, the, the conversation type, like each, let me see, like, that's what I think is the big missing piece is like, if you're in a healing conversation, it's very different than if you're in a design spec. Like if you're in a, like I've got, again, these cards uh, that are, each one of these is a different type of conversation. How, how is this different from, you don't mind if I- Sure, critique. Dri kind of drilling into the product design. Yeah. So how is it different uh, with Slack channels that you can put a topic? For example, I have a Slack channel for business discussion, for sharing random ideas for different, different it can be topical, can be team-based, can be project-based. Just choose your channel. Well, I guess the difference would be if I had Slack, I would make categories of channels where you could say, okay, like this, this is a, like the idea of being able to know what kind of conversation it is. Like if this is a knowledge sharing conversation, this is very different than if this is a presentation conversation, right? Mm -hmm. And so what I've got is like 72 of them all based upon a universal business structure where research conversations are different from marketing conversations. You know, learning conversations are different from service conversations. Plus I have different time cycles. Like the idea that, you know, all things are operating in the same time framework is not true. Some things are over a period of years, some things are over a period of season, some things are period over a lunar cycle. So, and color coding them, coming in with, with a whole color coding system that, so, so to me, for if you're gonna have um, an integrated holistic system, like what I have is a language structure to connect all of the info text together. That's what I think is, is the biggest thing that I have. And <clears throat> using okay. what I liked in your, in your mobile is having the six, like you were using sacred geometry to, to organize your concepts, right? Mm -hmm. That to me is the way forward. It's not, you know, the, the old way of programming and the way they set up the screens. It, that I've been waiting 20 years to build what I have because mm -hmm. the, the programming hadn't caught up yet to what mm -hmm. I see. And I think that with, with, with new paradigm, it's like a completely different software system. It's like we're mm -hmm. navigating through a big mind, you know, and, yeah. and, and the, the, the interfaces need to be like a combination of business needs to become more game-like and games need to be more business-like. Like, like this, the interfaces, there needs to be scores, points. Like people need to play these games. These all need to be games, in my opinion. I like the idea. It's it's a um, super discussion about how products should be the gamification and stuff. But also, there is the other side of the coin that if you bring too much of these elements, which are practically cumbersome to use, then you you lose you lose the simplicity and you lose the you lose the user basically. Uh, I have been through this. I have had so many sacred geometry design interfaces with uh, with the six, with uh, platonic solids, with uh, matrix and stuff. But I strip them a lot because when I give to a user, they're like, "Hmm, I just want a list." <laughs> they they kill me with this. Like I'm like, but see, I, I've organized it in 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 this structure, and they're like, "No, I just want a plain list." where I can see everything. <laughs> so that's how Facebook won all the rest because they they stripped everything to, to very simple things. And now they are losing in their game because 
now they become too complex. Now Snapchat is, for example, preferred for teenagers because there is not even a structure that Facebook has, just like swipe left, swipe right, just no, no structure. So I'm not saying we should go that way, but to, to, to be where what we are balancing, what are the two other sides of here, right? So we have this super uh, structures, like more like meta structures, and, and we want to bring it to the game. And we also have some people who appreciate that and some people who get lost in there and they're like, I just want a simple list and simple chat and let me organize. Let me hit, let me see what is there simply. I don't need different colors and stuff. So how, how do we balance it, right? So what I see from what you share is you want um, to overlay a uh, structure on top of, let's say, a Slack rooms. So Slack has a plain horizontal one level list of all the chat rooms you can have and companies navigate it easily. Like unless you're a company that has more than hundreds of chat rooms, that becomes a need to have a tree structure category. But for 90% of companies, this, this structure works. What you are bringing is, I understand, the, 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 the meta concept that structures the conversations, like predefined chat rooms, right? Predefined topics, how the conversation should be and stuff. This yeah. is awesome. This is awesome. But it has to be polished and refined and stripped of so many things that the user doesn't get lost. In, in my understanding, the user hates imposed structure unless it really serves. The, the difference is that it's going to be tiered and facilitators are going to be trained mm -hmm. and they're going to be the ones that define what happens in the chat room. So by the time the user comes in, it's already set and there's a facilitator there that's going to take them through a process. Like it's it's just going a level up and going from, okay, we've got all this communication. We've got all these people talking, doing whatever they want, but then there's no organization. And, the, and for people, let's say not in a structured corporation, how do you get people to go through a process in order either to learn or in order to do something together, let's say as a team. And so I, I think the the smaller niches, the like whatever, that we're putting forward here in, in the next conversation, whatever, I, I think will be with Nova. And I wanna show you the chat rooms, right? Cause we've already got them built and we're just building, we're just finishing the back end, And it's just it's just enough to get going. And, and then I just wanna test it out. I wanna see, and this is something which I think the testing could be integrated with what you're doing in terms of the um, planet side of going, you know, again, like if I'm a conscious intentional person I want to go into something where there's going to be some conscious intentional communication and conscious intentional projects and conscious mm -hmm. intentional whatever, right? I, I, I don't want to, like when I went into Shine stuff, he has the same idea and he's got a few nice little things which are different, but it's kind of like, again, it's like for social media, like I, I need more. I mean, I, I, I want to contribute. I've got a lot to contribute on my own but I want to be around other people who want to change the world. I want to be around other people who are more project focused, who like I'm looking at web TV shows that are looking at all the issues on the planet that you have a web TV show specific to save the old growth forest, a TV show to save the dolphins, like a TV show, every issue that is on the planet, we need web TV media to actually solve the issue. Right. Yeah. And so like what I'm coming from is I've got a whole system, <laughs> a language, structure to run a job an organization and a community and then to link these together online to share knowledge so the larger framework is there's a lot of design that's already been done in terms of you know we need more intelligent organizations we need something outside the corporation that can bring a lot of people together put them on teams and actually get new solutions out of them and right now luciel is actually doing that <laughs> Like with, they are taking 12 people on 12 teams using 144, using spiritual guidance, and I'm involved in it. It's right there right now. And it's just, just it, it, it's a perfect testing ground because they're open, like they're missing some technological uh, parts. And so they're just waiting for this chat room. 
and 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 I say it's it's got like two or three days of programming or work, and it's ready. And just Noah was just totally overwhelmed with his old life, and I we had a deadline three weeks ago, and it's just delayed. And then we were talking to Gino, and I just said, Gino, you know, you need some help, you know, just to get this finished to the next level, just to test it out because it's it's ready, like it's it's close. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm quite uh, amazed that that of the synchronicity here. Uh, let, let me share my screen. Okay, so I got to make you host again. Yeah. Okay. So we're 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 doing very very similar thing right now. And. Okay. So you can see my screen. Yeah. Or, yeah. We call it crystal organizations. <clears throat> oh, I like that. So this is Starship for Spiritual Entrepreneurs, Holonic Groups, oh, uh, yeah. Journey. Um, the idea here is that we take the small groups on a seven week journey and. Seven week? Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> six six week physical and the six week remote and a seventh week physically we come together. <clears throat> we work on three dimensions, self-discovery, the spiritual part, <clears throat> we work on entrepreneurship part, and we work on uh, community building part, call it mastermind, like relationships between the group and stuff. Okay. Uh, we have kind of a <clears throat> organization in a box concept, like we help these groups to become an organization that we get, give them governance models, membership models. Uh, maybe if they want to tokenize there's and, and have some compensation distribution models that's uh, <clears throat> distributed. I have the seven facets here. That's um, what's the essence of our journey. It's a flower of life design with six, seven dimensions, spirituality, education, well-being, uh, community, co-creation. And at the core level, it's a universal love it, and it's a holonic structure. So <clears throat> it's a cooperative inside and outside. This is our team of facilitators who facilitate the journey. <clears throat> and uh, the team is small, we're growing. Wait, can you go back to the team? Let me just, just quickly see them. So she's, she's Iris. She's an organizational leadership coach. She's using Gene Keys and Team Design and uh, uh, Spiral Dynamics. Um, she's Barbara. She's an intuitive soul channel. She, cha she, she connects with the higher self and communicates through you, your, communicates your higher self to you. This is me. This is Sila. She's a tarot uh, astrologer. She uses tarot and astrology for individual sessions and she, uh, some other things, photography. Also. He does body work. And we have two members that are not here yet. One of them does uh, a lot of things, mainly um, uses spiral dynamics. And um, he works on the higher levels of spiral dynamics. Uh, for coral and <clears throat> aubergine, so brings the multi-dimensional human aspect into, into the game. And <clears throat> uh, he does like meditations with, with crystals and programs to crystals and um, takes people on, 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 on journeys on, on, on higher self level. A couple of other people still still coming. So can you can you also just go back to those uh, seven? I just want to spirituality, education, community, well-being, expansion, co-creation, and universal love. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. So that that that's what we do. So <laughs> yeah. where where is in terms of um, where you are with this? 
Um, this is like a meta, meta structure. And I have built a mobile app that uh, <clears throat> puts people in, in teams, in small teams, and teams get their names and their tags and, and their colors. And it's, it's visually presented like, <clears throat> like, a, like a holon. And this, each, each holon has its chat room. So you just click on a, on a holon and it holon opens its chat room with its team members. Okay. I built only the Android version <clears throat> and I, I, I left it there because it didn't have resource and time. So I, I will have to continue over there. <clears throat> but uh, I just shared this because I see how how aligned these this pieces are. Because, <clears throat> I mean, another thing, I let's say I bring to the table, other than I actually have physical tables that you can use to, <laughs> to have conversations over, um, is I guess a lot of design work in, in parts and pieces that I see that might be missing, right? Because I've got this massive <laughs> sort of design. Um, Anyway, I, I think it's great. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of alignment. Uh, I would say maybe a next step would be to meet with Nova and let me show you what we have in terms of the chat rooms. Um, is there a funding with Lucien or your own personal funding? Like, do you intend, is it all- I intend to project? get funding, but I intend to get funding, but we don't have funding right now. Luciel's in the same position. They're getting a little bit, they get some, uh, everyone's paying $60 a month kind of thing. So they're getting something in, um, but they're looking to monetize it once it's finished and then to sort of bring it into the world as a, as a it's a very advanced training program. They've done a wonderful job. Um, but I also, I like I have the Inflow Matrix is the larger software system. And so I actually want to get funding for that, which is kind of like the mother of all software systems. It br brings everything together. So... Um, yeah, I'm in the same position as you. I <laughs> working a lot and not not focusing enough on funding because I I guess I'm more of an inventor, right? Yeah, same here. <clears throat> I have uh, spent all my corporate hard-earned money into this project, <laughs> and now I have facing the choice of <clears throat> going back to the corporate world to to make some more or just get a funding? Well, maybe what, I mean, another thing could be some shared funding or at least, you know, putting different pieces forward, but together in a sense, because uh, I, what I see is kind of like a whole bunch of smaller projects getting funding from a bigger source and all those projects mm -hmm. are linked together to show that, you know, once we get funding for them all, they're all going to do well kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so I think if, if we looked at, if we look like I'd be open to that, in terms that's of, uh, that's what what's the vision of crystal organizations is and here comes the problem how do we balance the egos of all these little projects <laughs> to work together to understand they're holding a puzzle piece and not everyone wants to build the empire themselves right well i so, mean to me uh, i would just go okay show me your plan i'll show you mine and you know if, if, you, if you've got something bigger and better i would I'll integrate into that. But I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that for most of it, like I see myself as an architect of, of the big system. And if, if, if you, again, if anyone out there can show me something more, I'm, I, I would, I just want something that's good. That's, that's out there. Yeah. And, that, that... And, and to me, I think all the projects should be funded. And I, what I see is I have a connecting network that can connect them all together. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, is you might have the same thing, but it doesn't matter to me. To me, each of us needs to get our piece of the pie, and then we need to to have a way to bring the pie together. And that that's the vision I'm working towards it. But I believe it's much harder done than 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 we imagine. Uh, I, I maybe we changed. My experience is a little outdated. A couple of years ago, I have had so much frictions with different people, everyone trying to, it's like, let's, let's save the world, but come to my house. Let's, let's save it or my house. No, no, come to my house. Yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, and that's how that's we fix that. Human, right? 
that's just yeah. pretty human. <laughs> and I, the, the moment we find, uh, I'm focusing on this a lot these days, the moment we find, we, we naturalize this, there is like avalanche of cooperation that's going to happen. We, we're going to become unstoppable. Yeah. If all this competition energy goes into aligned cooperation, we will not need even a funding. <laughs> no, I, I agree. We'll, There's so much potential be, energy that, yeah. that we're not accessing because of exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 And I, so, I, to me, it's, it's a question of right place that when you truly find your right place, you don't have to compete anymore because you, you, everyone's looking for right place. Yeah. And, and if they don't have it, they're not really going to get along with everybody because they, they haven't found their kind of like position, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of what we got to do. We got to help each other find the right place. Yeah. And how I address this is let's first build a human network, heart to heart. We trust, we build a trust network. Once we have that, the rest will flow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, and I guess I have a trust map. I have like, I understand that that's, I, I feel as if like I've been so beaten down by, by this whole experience that, I mean, I'm like, I'm happy with anything happening, you know, like, mm -hmm. like I think a lot of people 10 years ago had the ideas, but then we, you know, it's just, it's difficult, right? The new paradigm is, is, is not here yet. I mean, we're building it, we're trying to get it, but that old paradigm is powerful and that old paradigm attacks yeah, yeah. anything yeah. that looks like the new paradigm. Yeah. And we still have to pay our bills and we still need to get going and the life is pressing. Some of us are lucky they, they made with some million from the past jobs. Most of us are still in the, in the balancing everyday game. So it's, yeah. So, so, so how, how do we do that? <clears throat> so another thing, like, again, just like I see the divination tool because people love divination. They really love it. And to have it as an entry point to bring people in, uh anyway i mean that's how it, it's game, gamifies the team building kind of yeah. and, and project the mapping now you did say you had a half hour and i think we're past that so i don't, I don't want to go past but uh i think this has been great as a first contact yeah i'm happy to reschedule another call and, and dive deeper this was, this was really cool I, I see how many elements are playing in the field and I have received kind of a message, or however you call it, that uh, this this summer a lot of kind of soul groups who are busy with the same things are coming together. So okay, it seems that so, way because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's play together. It's fun. Okay, so um, I'll arrange something with. Let's arrange. In the next few days, hopefully, to uh, meet with Nova, so we can show you the chat room, and then we can just kind of go from there. But I, I'm definitely everything I've seen from you, I love, and I'll help in ways that I can. Yeah. Um, uh, just to to also not overpromise. I what your technology stack, by the way? What's, what's your backend technology stack? Um. Like Java or uh, React or PHP or I think it's probably more Fight, Java, Python, Java, HTML, and CSS. Mm. So just yeah. to, to clarify, I I'm not a backend developer, so I can't help with that. Um, I, I do mobile development, but even that, uh, since two three years, I moved to product management. I can help with giving you. Uh, Clarifying your product, kind of <clears throat> spend uh, an hour or so discuss together what's your product vision and maybe help you to do technical mapping, like offer you tools and, and platforms. But that that will that will be the scope. Um, so if just so you don't count that, okay, Narek is going to fix this, and then you find out that that was not the case, right? I got you. I can I can bring uh, a team. I have an outsourced team in Armenia, and they are cheap, but relative. Let's say the price and quality balance is pretty good. 
So if there is a project with like a long-term fixed budget, I can bring them in, but they are not, not volunteers. <laughs> so yeah, we, they, they, do, they do work <clears throat> for, for money, yeah. Um, that's what I can bring for the table. And, but I'm more excited to, to explore this bigger region because I'm also a system thinker and, and I see this whole ecosystem. And, but I understand you have practical immediate needs to, to get this chat going. And I'm not sure if I can help more in anything else than, than just technological consulting perhaps or, or Correct. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I get that. We, we're, we're talking to the couple of people Gino you know have uh, linked this to, but I, I'm excited about just the bigger picture stuff with you. And uh, mm -hmm. and again, what you're talking about is still very valuable. So um, let's see how we can help each other out. I think, I think, I think there's a lot of, I know I can bring a lot to anything and quickly. And so it just depends upon, you know, just how we want to interact. And anyway, you know, we'll just play it step by step, right? Wonderful. Yeah. Um, I am free Thursday or or, or Tuesday. Let, let me let me check my calendar. What's what's your preferred time? Um, probably, I mean Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, like Tuesday later, because uh, Noah's in New Zealand, right? So. He's 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 still sleeping. Okay. Do you want to set something up now? Um, you you can you can agree with Noah and then send me a, a message. <clears throat> and most probably at these hours, I should be. How about how about Tuesday at three? Um, what time did we start today? Yes. Um, it's right now. It's two forty-three. Um, oh, this is quite late. So. Let, let's see what's the earliest Nova can come. So for like one, two. Okay, so you're, you're better one or two. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why don't we, why don't we tr look at two? Cause he's still, do we try two? Yeah, okay, let's, do, let's try two for one hour. <clears throat> okay. okay, great. Thank you for seeing me. And great, great. Uh, one great, one great question. Time. Yes. Your family name is Russian? Yes. Uh, are you Russian? Yeah. Well, my grandfather. My grandfather okay. came from Russia in 1919. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I speak Russian fluently. So. Oh, wow. I, I grew up in ex-Soviet country, Armenia. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Just curious about it. Cool. Thanks. Uh, was was. Great exploring with you and looking forward to next meeting. All right. All right. Take it easy.